Hey everyone, thanks for hanging out with me at the Local M. I'm your host, William Green, and I'd like to thank everyone for all the kind comments and all the views and subscriptions. It really does mean a lot to me. Today I'm going to take you somewhere that has great food, great service, and great ambience. This place caters everything from bar mitzvahs to baby showers and has been known to do a wedding or two. So without further ado, let's get the show started. So at the corner of, and with the address of, You'll find Russell's on Macklin. Today, this guy will be telling us about Russell's location conception and also the food and everything else in between. Nice pick, by the way. So first, let's start with introductions. It's Farron Huster. I'm the general manager of Russell's on Macklin. Russ and his wife Emily live up the street. Mm -hmm. um, they would come in here when it was the Murdoch Park. It was a little coffee shop, uh, pastries and sandwiches before. And they would come in and they would sit and talk about, uh, you know, maybe opening a second location and how great it would be to do something in, in this neighborhood. Mm -hmm. um, he had opened the Fenton location, um, I think it's been 13 years now maybe. Wow. So uh, him and his parents, you know, started that one. Um, but like I said, him, Russ and his wife lived up the street or live up the street and uh, they kind of were looking for a second location. And yeah. here's where, yeah, five and a half years later, we're still here. He's extremely talented, obviously. Um, an incredible vision for what uh, he wants done. Um, He's very good at making sure that those people he puts in charge have the ability to run those things, um, the kitchen, the front of the house. Um, um, but we all are very clear on what he expects. Um, so that's, that's kind of Russ in a nutshell. He's extremely talented. Um, the way he cooks, the way he layers flavors of food together. Um, I, I, I've been doing this for a long time and I've never worked for somebody that I'm more proud to say I work for Russ than anybody else I've ever worked for. Awesome. People ask me that all the time. I, I call this, this is food that we all grew up on here in the Midwest, um, but done in a way that you probably didn't eat it when you were growing up. Um, the meatloaf is, a, is kind of a signature or a staple dish of our dinner menu. Um, and I talk primarily about dinner because I'm here most evenings. I mean, I'm here a lot during the day as well, but um, the roasted chicken. Um, you know, these are great Midwestern dishes that Russ has done with, like I said, many layers of flavor. Everything is balanced. Um, you know, the pastries, the cakes, all those things are all done with very much attention to detail and executed uh, the same way out of the kitchen. Um, our sandwiches, for lunch, our brunch menu, um, all kind of have that same this Midwestern appeal. We, we don't try to be something uh, trendy. We don't try to be something that um, is gonna be hot today and six months from now you're not gonna hear about it. We talk about it all the time. We wanna build something that uh, is in it for the long haul, you know, and it, that kind of comes with not only producing fantastic food, but giving customers a fantastic experience or fantastic experience when they walk in. And one of the compliments we get a lot, and people people say that every time they walk in here, it feels like they're getting a big hug. And that is 
one of the best compliments. Um, you know, people feel welcome when they come in. They, they, we, we try to get to know every customer, especially the ones that come in as often. Um, uh, so we try to get to know them by name. We get to know, you know, what they like. We've got certain guests that come in that have their own button on our machine because they get the same thing every day. So, <laughs> so instead of special instructing it all to the kitchen, we just hit the button and the kitchen knows what they're getting. Um, so we try to make, and it's, we do it with hiring the right people. I know that's not always easy and a lot of people pay, pay, uh, places say that. It's really not hiring experience. I, it really doesn't matter to me if you've waited tables before or you haven't. It really, it's the personality, of the, it's your personality. If you are a, a, an open, if you have an openness to you that you're willing to, to kind of, you know, be who, we, we, want, we want our servers and our staff to be who they, who they are, but they have to be open. We all want, we want each one of those uh, employees to be exactly like that, you know? So, so it makes a difference when people walk in, you know? Um, people, we want them to be, we want our staff to be happy when they're here. Um, we give them the tools to, to do that, um, you know? And it comes a lot too with communication. There's a lot of communication that goes on in order to build a staff that is successful and that's happy to be here. And it feels, I think for the most part, they're very happy to be a part of this. Um, we change it uh, seasonally. Well, I guess spring, we'll do a uh, fall winter menu and we do spring summer. Um, the dinner menu that we're currently running though is kind of flexible. Um, so we, we kind of move it in and out depending on what, uh, what vegetables are in season. Um, so, but the overall uh, full menu changes happen uh, spring, summer, fall, winter. Um, the lunch menu kind of is stays similar uh, all year round. We run specials occasionally, like today. Um, uh, the brunch menu is pretty solid; it doesn't really change. But then again, we'll, we run a ton of brunch specials. Uh, we'll do things like a crab cake sandwich with the uh, fried egg on top. We'll do breakfast pork chops. Uh, we do a lot of things like that. Yes. Um, through Saturday and Sunday, yeah. It's yes. Fans. Yeah. It's good. Oh, yes. Uh, brunch is fantastic. <laughs> if you haven't had brunch at Russell's, you need to come check it out. Well, if we picked each menu apart, uh, like I said, I, I work primarily night, so we'll start at dinner, it's the meatloaf. Mm. Um, it's a bacon wrap meatloaf with our house-made glaze, served over beto garlic and mashed potatoes. Um, over the summer, we were putting a fried green tomato on top. Now it's a, a crispy shallot we put over top of that. Um, so that's our signature, pro probably our signature dinner item. Um, during lunch, the chicken and gouda sandwich is probably one of the most popular items there. Um, brunch, you know, we do biscuits and gravy, house-made uh, gravy, sausage gravy, lemon, garlic, it's fantastic. Um, we do quiche every Saturday and Sunday and that changes up. So probably those items would, I would consider as our signature. That's our harvest grilled sandwich. So it's uh, it's our ham, uh, smoked our hickory smoked ham, aged cheddar cheese, and then it's then we have a local apple butter that we put on it. Um, it comes back every fall. People love it. They hate to see it leave when spring gets here. Um, but we 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 try to source most of our stuff as local as possible, um, and that's that's a big part of what we do here too. Um, but that's a fantastic sandwich. Um, I'm not sure if they serve that at the other locations, but I, I know it's going to be here through the. Uh, off and on throughout the winter, so. Chicken and Gouda, I believe. It is fantastic. Chicken it's and Gouda. Chicken breast, uh -huh. um, Gouda cheese. It's got caramelized onions and roasted red peppers. We just opened a coffee shop down the street called Ola Jeans. Russ named it after his daughter. Oh, really? Who you'll see running through the restaurant from time to time. Um, and. We, we hope to, uh, within a year, we want to put a wood fire pizza oven in there and do house made ice cream. Awesome. And then move kind of the coffee shop into another building adjacent to where it's uh, currently located. Oh, wow. 5400 Nottingham, if anybody is uh, wanting to come check it out. Now let me give you a little side note to some of these dishes. This bacon wrapped meatloaf is probably something you want to share with your significant other. 
Now this Harvest Grilled Sandwich, you may want to get it while it's still in season. Same thing with the Chicken Gouda Sandwich. But both, but guaranteed, both of these sandwiches, you're not going to share with the other person. Just fair warning. Now let's enjoy the rest of the night together. Nothing like late night chicken wings. And dessert. Did I mention dessert? I mean dessert. 